Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with a new series, a new franchise mode series. And even though you guys voted for a tropical biome, the second place was the desert. And so many people commented like, you know what? Everyone is going for a tropical biome, so it would be very cool if you would go for a desert biome, since not that many YouTubers do that. So it was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. I wasn't quite sure yet, but yeah, my people in the Discord server really convinced me to do so. And uh, while I'm going to make a start here and uh, start already putting down some path, let me explain a little bit what we're going to do. Because the thing is, I asked the community in my Discord server if they could help me out with blueprints. So the plan is I have a blueprints list in the description of this video and my Discord community is going to uh, build me some small and in a later stage some bigger blueprints to work with. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a combination of you guys building awesome stuff and uh, I am going to put it all together and hopefully it's going to be looking super nice and I'm probably going to build some stuff myself, but I really also want to focus mostly on, yeah, just the gameplay because I just really enjoy the franchise mode gameplay. Uh, so if you want to provide blueprints, definitely join my Discord server and read the list because I created a list uh, for what kind of blueprints I would use or need for this beautiful desert biome. So I will add every blueprint in the list in the description so everyone can also use it if you want to also go for a uh, desert franchise mode or maybe a sandbox series. Of course, you can use that whole list for yourself too. And obviously, I just want to uh, uh, say a big thank you to everyone for providing already some awesome blueprints to work with. Now, obviously, as I said, like we don't have that much money, so we always have to start really small. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just gonna have some temporarily uh, shops and stuff here because we really need to get going with some money first. But yeah, I'm really excited just to see what everyone is going to come up with and if we are able to make a beautiful zoo out of all these small and bigger blueprints i think it's going to be super awesome oh you know what i need to do i <laughs> before i forget we definitely need to go to our settings and make sure because i played sandbox mode for so long i actually just i don't have any notifications on so we need to make sure that everything is set up right uh, avatar zoo visits could be useful now. Uh, let's enable it. And difficulty is on medium. I don't really feel to go for the refunds, which are included in the hard mode. I really didn't enjoy that part of the franchise mode. So I'm not going to play hard mode at all. I just really don't look forward to that. I'm gonna have the animal aging rate two and a half times faster. Yeah, I think two and a half times will be fine for now. Or maybe just leave it like this and once the zoo gets bigger and it's all going too fast, I'm gonna slow it down. Oh, what was that? That's weird. Okay. Animal settings, so two and a half. No, 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 I'm gonna leave it down. Guest settings, maximum amount. I think that's all fine for now. So let's do that. And I also need to make sure that I get notifications, but I don't really see... Oh, here it is. Okay, so interface, animal alerts. I think I just need to uh, enable everything, I guess. Uh, I, I think I'm just gonna do that. So apply. Because else I will not get notified if we have any issues in our Zoom. Okay, so let's put down, um, not a keeper's hut yet, a quarantine building. So we're gonna go for a small building. So I'm gonna temporarily put everything down right over here. So we're gonna have the quarantine. We're gonna have a vet surgery, a staff room, research center, just a small one and a workshop because I really wanna check. I, I think I'm gonna move you to the other side. 
Um, I want to make sure that I have all the research from my other zoos because if I'm right that is something that they should have added now that you bring along the research you did in a different zoo. So you guys are all aligned. Why are am I not able to... Okay, that is going to work. Are you gonna connect for me? Okay, so I think we need to replace it with a staff path or we just continue here with a small one and just connect it here. And then the last bit, I'm going to add a staff path. So just to make sure that the guest won't, uh, <laughs> won't go to these areas, but I don't think they will. And we also, oh my God, it has been such a long time ago so we also need uh, a transformer and water treatment if we're gonna add water but i think for now i'm just gonna add only the transformer right over here so this already costs us tons of money so we definitely need to make sure that we're not going to spend too much money uh so yeah just to, to be clear that if i mentioned everything if you want to provide some blueprints definitely join my discord server and read what i mentioned like i have a whole list with requests i will add requests in the later stage and stuff so definitely join my discord server if you want to provide some blueprints so not like oh yeah i have a blueprint here it is in the comment section because that is not what i'm going to use please provide it via my discord server and make sure it's on the list because I don't want to disappoint too many people like if I have too many blueprints of some kind of things I am just not able to use them <laughs> so yeah keep that in mind okay let's have a look vet research okay that is fine I want to make sure yes a oh, few okay so I have all the research already done so I should not have any issues with all the blueprints I have at this point I do, okay, insufficient funds, okay, that is uh, pretty clear. So we have rock formations, we have some things for shades, we have shelters, toilet buildings, and just a lot of like small little bushes and trees formations, and also some fences and some walls. So I think we are definitely good to go for the start of the zoo. So what I want to do, I'm not really sure if I have any animals just yet. I do have some rewards, which I actually never really looked at because I just didn't really play franchise mode for so long. I think we can possibly use some of these animals, but I have like 34,000 uh, conservation credits, so it's not really a big deal. Like normally, when I started a new franchise, I always made sure that I didn't have that many conservation credits. But for this occasion, I'm like, no, I'm just going to keep my conservation credits. I just want to have fun and I just want to make sure that we manage our zoo like the best we can. So we are going for a Bactrian camel for the first habitat. Oh, and they're not even that expensive. That is amazing. So how many? Let's go to the Zoopedia. How many can we have in one habitat? Two to 11, one male up to 10 females. That is great, actually. So we have a lot of females here and I am Frontier Zoo. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna get you and I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. And we only need a male now. And let me just make sure. Okay, filter for male, and I think, oh my god, this is something I did not forget. Okay, perfect, we have another male, also from the Frontier Zoo, perfect. Okay, so we have five camels right now, they have a very decent rating, so that is actually really good, because we are able to earn some money from them. How big does their habitat need to be? That's a good question. 650 cubic meters no water and if i'm right somebody in my discord server mentioned that i don't need any shelter for them so that is also easy but i think i'm gonna use one of the shelters that someone provided me um so 650 cubic meters so what we're gonna do i'm gonna make this path a little bit bigger okay i want to have like a big habitat right over here but i want to lower it into the ground but i don't know if this is gonna cost us a lot of money i hope not but let's just see i'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger just wider and we're gonna make sure that it's 
Let's go as low as this. So we're gonna... Oh, that's not even that expensive at all. It's like... Okay, 10 almost. 9... Well, I think this is gonna be fine. I think this is way too big, but... Let's have a look. I think this is gonna be a very nice habitat for them still. So I'm going to try to not do speed builds in this whole series, just to make sure that you guys can see whatever I do. And if it's a little bit too long and it's not like something new, I will definitely just uh, uh, cut it out to make a fun, hopefully a fun series for you guys to watch. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Definitely make sure to subscribe, of course, if you're new to the channel. And if you like Planet Zoo content, we also do uh, play a lot of sandbox mode on the channel. So this is, uh, yeah, this has been a very long time ago. And in the last few months, we have only been playing sandbox mode. So definitely go and check that out. If you haven't seen it yet, there is tons of Planet Zoo content on the channel. Uh, so I asked the people in my Discord server to provide me with some rocks and I know Bobson created a, a whole rock set, but I have no idea if that is going to be super expensive to put down. But thank you everyone for providing the first blueprints and hopefully we can build something awesome. I also have some kind of inspirational uh, channel just to make sure that we all build kind of in the same style so we have some kind of yeah a point where we could work from so i think so far everything goes pretty well so i just really enjoy the concept of this and i'm really really excited to see how this will all go uh so let's see if we are able to build a habitat here without us spending too much money so we go to blueprints uh, so this is the set by Bobson, if I'm right, and he made a set, like, only with rocks, and he also made the set with including some trees and foliage, so that is really nice, so we can combine those two. The only thing is, uh, the one without any tropical stuff is, like, 717, so that's not that expensive. The other one is 1807, um, so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna put this one down and I'm also gonna buy the other one. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. And hopefully when I, what happens if I, if I delete it, do I get money back? Oh yeah, okay, I get money back. Okay, Whew. at least something. It's probably not everything that we get back, but that's fine. So that is from Bobson and I'm actually thinking to... I asked everyone to add their names in the title, but unfortunately, I don't see any names, which is bit... This is pretty awkward, so I'm very sorry for that. I don't see any names, except for like the ricey font. I'm not really sure what that is about, unfortunately. So maybe we need to add it in the description then? Because I feel bad, I really want to thank you guys for, uh... Yeah, for making the blueprints if I'm using them, but... Oh, I'm so sorry for that, guys. I don't know what that is. I really like that fence, though. Do we have any more fences? I think we have this one. That one is also really nice. I like this one. I'm, uh, I'm not really sure who made it. I'm very sorry for that. Um, but I'm going to use this one. What do you cost? 90. Oof, 90 per fence. Uh, we do need tons of fences, and I also want to add tons of rocks. Of course we want to. Uh, I'm just gonna see how far... Oh wait, it's not in a blueprint. So let's blueprint it. So merge scenery into group. Oh, that is really a pity. I really hope that it would go well if people would just add their names in the title. So we could do a proper shout out once we use the blueprints. Now, I did know bops and uh, created those whole rock sets so that's why i remembered but unfortunately if there are so many people making awesome blueprints i'm just not able to uh <laughs> to remember them all i'm very sorry for that uh but you can obviously find all the blueprints and everyone's names in the list in the description so yeah as i mentioned you can also use it for your own zoo if you want to go for a desert look it's going to be a mixture of like a lot of wood and a lot of um, a bit more white or light modern buildings. 
So it's going to be something new and I'm really excited for that. Obviously a desert biome. Uh, we need a lot of shelter areas for our guests to cool down. I'm not really sure. It's going to be interesting to see if the guests really behave like that or that they just only complain about like that it's super warm but that they're not really going to areas where there is shade. I'm really interested to see more of how our guests will behave regarding that so if it's gonna help that we have like awnings and stuff above above the pass or something like that so yeah that is going to be very interesting i wish that we had more money to work with in the in the beginning but unfortunately we have to wait for that but it's a good thing that we are able to already buy animals that we would like to buy so we're not like uh, only 100 cc and starting off with like very low rated animals or anything like that so that is really nice and uh, obviously we're not going to add too many snow biome animals so animals that like a colder climate i think it's gonna be a good one because it's gonna cost us like a lot of money if we are um if we need to place like a lot of coolers and stuff so we definitely need to make sure that we add mostly tropical animals i'm not really sure that we even need to add coolers for tropical animals because it's like a very hot climate here it's like 44 degrees right now so that is also going to be a question i honestly have no idea this is the first time I'm ever building in a desert biome. Uh, okay, so what I would like to do is I want to see if we have... I'm not really sure. Let me check real quick because I remember that someone created this. Now this is obviously very big, but that is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like those flat rock combinations and so i'm actually thinking to remove parts of this because this is a perfect one so thank you for the person that created this blueprint i'm so sorry that your name is not in here but what i want to do is is basically delete this is going to be used later on obviously so definitely something we're gonna use as some kind of eye catcher or something that is super cool but for now i actually want to use it so i'm gonna delete parts of it so don't worry i'm sometimes going to add edit your th your things like i'm doing right now and i'm going to show you guys why i am because i think that is going to look really cool i really love what you did here by the way so definitely something we're going to use in a later stage but for now i want to divide this into a few bits and pieces so we can create a nice rock formation underneath the fence at least that is the idea and now we're going to move the whole blueprint and now i'm gonna copy paste these things i have no idea how this is going to look but let's just try it duplicate things put them onto each other this is gonna cost us tons of money so i'm not really sure if we can go all around just yet but i just really want to have uh a bit of a look and see how this will go so i think so far we have some money we do need definitely some shops and stuff so we definitely can't continue too far of adding all these rocks so i'm gonna put this one here and then i'm gonna make sure that we have the right shops and stuff because i'm pretty sure that when we have guests coming in that they need some drinks and stuff i'm not gonna decorate them just yet i'm just gonna replace them in a later stage with like a restaurant or anything we are getting via the blueprints um let's have a look so guest facilities i think we just need to make sure that they can drink water maybe even smoothies so i'm gonna put down two and one smoothie how much do they cost actually uh two thousand oh my goodness okay I'm gonna just keep only water in and then I'm gonna um, ice cream yeah I think ice cream would be a nice one okay so let's add one ice cream and then let's make sure they have toilets here um, so one two toilets oh my gosh okay money going down 
a lot. I think I'm gonna have one toilet. <laughs> I'm reducing everything. Information. Uh, okay, let's reduce also the water. Oh yeah, of course I not get all the money back. Okay, at least we now have everything. We have food, we have water, we have an information stand and a toilet. We need some bins. Um, do we have a special desert bin or anything like that? Indian bin? I'm not really sure if the Indian bin would be the best fit. I think, I think we should just do it for now. So let's add two here. Let's add two here. I think I'm gonna replace them light, later on. Just, just for now, I wanna make sure that we have everything the guests would need. And do we have a bench in the Indian theme? I'm not really sure if I like those too much. <laughs> like sitting down on a cushion. I don't know if people really want that. Shall we just recolor this one in a brownish color? Yeah, I think for now. One, two, four. Shall we add a picnic bench or two? Indian picnic bench, European. Uh, oh gosh, this has been such a long time ago. It's gonna be such a mess. I feel it. Okay, one, two, and two here. All temporarily. All temporarily just to make sure that I guess have everything. Okay, so we need to make sure that we are able to... Okay, no fence is, is, doesn't cost us anything, which is very good. So I'm gonna make sure that we have a little bit of a ramp here. But I just want to make sure that we have enough space for the camels to roam around. Okay, so we're gonna have a wooden gate. And I'm just gonna use the wood. Is that like uh, 120? I think that is also the best thing to go for right now. So let's don't have not have angle snap on. And now we're going to continue. Okay, so we have rocks right in the middle. We need to make sure that the staff path is going to be connected to this path for now. And we're gonna add the camels in their hammer's head. Oh, wait, it's not a set, Moxmo. You can't select them all. Oh, okay, I need to get used to that. That has been a long time ago. Okay, all animals are being sent to this habitat. We do need some staff. Oh, so many vendors. Okay, so let's hire a keeper. Let's hire a caretaker because a caretaker is probably going to bring the camels. We need one mechanic. We need a security guard. We don't need any vendors and we need a vet. Uh, now I actually wonder if we should bring the camels first there. Well, we shall see if we have any illness or something similar like that. Is our zoo open? I think so. The zoo is open. We have also nighttime. We need some donation boxes. So we're gonna add these guys. One, two, so what is the issue? You need a keeper hut. Yes, that is correct. We need a keeper hut. So we're going to add a keeper hut close to here. But we actually need another staff room here too. But I'm not really sure if we are able... Do we have money for that? 2000? Okay, we do have that. So we're gonna make a work roster. Staff work zone, like a new work zone. So we're gonna call this a camel habitat. And we're going to select our keeper to the camel habitat just for now. I think the rest will be fine so far. And then a later stage when we grow bigger, we just have to make sure that <laughs> we have new work rosters. Okay, pause this just for a bit. Oh, they need power? Oh gosh. Oh, you're right in? Oh my goodness. I was, oh, that is so close. Um, okay, traversable area. They're not able to escape. That is good. Is your habitat big enough? It's super duper big enough. So that is great. You want other stuff like soil, rock, and sand in your habitat. Let's have a look because I also want to make sure that we have 
some educational signs. So we're going to add the simple ones for now. And that is the friend. So how many are we going to add? Shall we just add one for now? I think that if we, if we just put it here, like really close to the entrance, I think it's going to be fine, at least for the education, I hope. So we're going to make sure that we make this one big enough and we're going to lower you into the ground for now. So we have a sign, we have donation boxes, we have bins, we have benches, we have uh, shops here. Uh, so yeah, I think the only thing we need to do that is very important right now, let's open the zoo here. Again, uh, is to, to do the terrain, make the camels happy. So they want less soil, they want more rock. So I, I need to <laughs> redo this. Okay, so I'm gonna paint the sides of the habitat first because here is what we're gonna add rocks with and hopefully this can already be enough but we we're gonna add a lot of rocks in this whole habitat just to create a very nice and natural environment we need water and i'm actually thinking to create water with some kind of oasis or something like that how much do they like coverage okay not too much so let's create some kind of water section right over here so when they drink they are pretty close to the guests i think that would be nice so if we're gonna add some water here it's a little bit too big for my taste still let's make sure that they are able oh okay i like that green do they like green not too much can we and now fill that okay let's have a look what else do they need they need more sand perfect okay so they need <laughs> oh my goodness i have never seen the camels before in this game so i'm definitely going to check out the camels when when this whole habitat is done what do they need uh let's give them a feeding troll oh my goodness it's super busy here uh do we need more more donation boxes here let's copy another one here okay so habitat let's give them a grab ball and let's give another grab ball right over here oh we need a water pump to make sure that that water will be clean oh my god there's so much we have to think about i totally forgot all these things so will that cover you yes that will cover you if i put you down here and i hope the negative impact of our guests so many things to think about oh my goodness negative impact on guests okay that is all fine so far okay perfect um okay what else do we need in the habitat we can have a hanging grazer feeder just somewhere over here i'm gonna redo this whole habitat once we have some more money but as you can see our money is going down pretty quickly so we just can't do super crazy at the moment i'm gonna do uh, some more uh, rocks really soon okay i think this could be enough like all these rocks here in the middle this is not what i want okay let's uh let's move these guys to here oh yeah that's right we can delete we can delete these no we're not going to delete them because that can be the back side I think that's going to be nice. So this is going to be some kind of template we're going to use. Um, but I'm going to use a little bit of these rocks. Like obviously if you do this with like the copy pasting and stuff, you need to keep in mind that you're probably going to uh, spend more money on the blueprints and like of, of rocks that are in the ground so you could potentially delete those if you don't see them but that is something to definitely keep in mind if you do this it's it's a nice way of, of like easy decorating your habitats but yeah it, it will cost you more money than if you would place all these uh, rocks by yourself <laughs> so definitely keep an eye on that oh my gosh it's super dark right now or it's gonna be super dark we also need lights then oh shoo okay do we have some indian simple lights that we could use and place indian street light do we have one that is already pre-made 
Okay, I'm gonna temporarily use these. Okay, they have food, they have grant ball, they have that grazing feeder. Um, yeah, the only thing we just need to do, our money is climbing though, so that is really nice. So we can probably just continue with our rocks here. And we can do the terrain forming, like in like do it better once we have some more money. And if and everything is in place, then we can like fine tune the terrain forming. Oh my gosh, those sounds! I love them already. I ca I don't know what that is. Uh, me and, and sounds in the game, like the warthog and stuff. I just love it. This is so cool. This. This biome looks so gorgeous. I really love it. Just look at these rocks now. Like, obviously we need a little bit of green in between and stuff. Like, they don't mind a little bit of green, so we're definitely going to add that in a later stage. They're running, having fun in the habitat. And we're gonna have some trees and stuff around here. I think that's gonna look beautiful. So if we just, just grab... A few of the trees. How is that going to look? Um, oh, there's a. Those are different type of rocks. Is that going to be too much? Do we mind? Well, maybe not. If we just combine it a little bit, we do have a, have more of these type of uh, combinations with like a few of rocks and some trees and shrubs. So. That is hopefully uh, going to look nice when we do combinations of this, but I think it's not too bad. It's a little bit dark, so press L if you want a torch. And like you can just change the boundary a little bit to the edge of these rocks if they're gonna start complaining about trees. So I think that's gonna be fine. What time is it now? Okay, it's almost 11, so then it will turn to daytime again which is nice. And the rest of this habitat, I will just do a little bit off camera. Like you get the idea of putting down rocks and stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's just so easy to have like a template of rocks and stuff to, uh, to create some nice little things, but I'm not really happy yet with how this is looking. We might want to do some terrain forming and stuff. Look at the camels. Oh my God, Rudy. Okay, yeah. Okay, whatever happens, we're not gonna do naming in this series, but... Oh my god, we're already getting offspring. Where is the male camel? Because I'm gonna name you Rudy. Of course, I can't do this series. Starting with a camel without naming a male camel Rudy. <laughs> it's just not, it's just impossible. Okay, I need to replace that one instead, because if we just delete that one, we're gonna lose more money. So we don't want that. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be exciting. Okay, so let's wait till it's daytime. Let's have a look at the camels during daytime, and then we're gonna wrap this episode up. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward already to the next one. I've been, I've been spending money like crazy and we, we, we're not even done yet, but oh my goodness. I really want to have a look now. It's it's 10 a.m. in the morning and um, I just want to see. You are super awesome. I can't believe the game is already out like more than seven months and I never seen the Bactrian camel in one of my zoos. I feel ashamed, but then again, I think this is the best perfect animal to add in our zoo in our desert zoo as a first animal i think that's just oh my gosh that is just super cool so yeah we're we're, we're a long way to go we're probably going to divide this into two habitats maybe i think we can have like a smaller animal animal right over here i'm not really sure if we are able to um have another animal in this habitat, they don't benefit from any other species, so... Yeah, I don't know, actually. But let me know in the comment section down below what kind of animals should we add in this corner section. I'm really, uh... I'm really excited for this new series. I really hope you guys are too. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And, uh, yeah, leave me, uh, leave me some comments or suggestions. Obviously, it's, it's going to be different from our sandbox series, but I really hope you guys will like it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, we don't want to miss out on this. Rudy, Rudy. <laughs> Rudy, you've been naughty to all the animals. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is cool. We're going to have so many babies in the next episode, guys. It's going to be awesome. All right, guys, I'm off. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.